long straight wire very uniform line charge lambda carrying uniform line charge lambda is surrounded by rubber insulation out to a radius a out to a radius a. Find the electric displacement vector. Okay. Find electric displacement vector. This is the question. So we can draw here the cylinder like this. This is the cylinder. this sphere this is the wire surrounded by the sphere okay here this is the radius a okay radius a and there is a line charge density lambda now we can assume a gaussian cylinder here like this okay gaussian cylinder And this Gaussian cylinder has radius S and length L. Okay, so assume a Gaussian cylinder. With radius S and length L. Okay. Inside the wire. Inside the wire. Now, we can apply Gauss law. And we know that Gauss law states that surface integral of d dot dA equal to Charge enclosed. Okay. This is the Gauss law. And the charge enclosed by this Gaussian cylinder is given by, we know that the charge per unit length is lambda and we assume the Gaussian cylinder of length L. So the charge enclosed by the Gaussian sphere is given by lambda L. Okay, this integration, uh, sorry, Gaussian, not sphere, no, Gaussian cylinder. This integration is over the Gaussian surface. Okay, so here you can write this as this. You can write here this electric displacement vector D into normal to the surface because of this area. Okay, this aerial uh, vector, the surface area is given by 2 pi s n. Okay, this is the area. So, we get here, this is equal to lambda n. So, this gives us d 2 pi s n. is equal to lambda L and D is equal to lambda by 2 pi S. Okay. 
d is equal to lambda by 2 pi s. Okay, and we know that here the electric displacement vector and the radial vector is pointing like this, radially uh, outward. Okay, so you can write here this as S cap. Okay, this is S cap and electric displacement vector is given by S cap. Okay, this equation holds for both inside and outside the uh, insulation. The case of outside region, outside insulation, polarization equal to zero. That means epsilon zero E equal to lambda by two pi S S cap. Okay. So in this context. The electric field outside the insulation is given by lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 s. Okay. For s greater than a. This is for s greater than a. This is for s less than a. Okay. So, this is the solved problem in your textbook. So, do it by uh, understanding the concept properly. Okay.